Hey, what's going on guys? So as you know, my wife and I took a little short trip to Atlanta this weekend and no matter how often we go out or no matter where we go, we always happen to find and meet some really cool and interesting people. So we met this couple from Tennessee and this guy Greg was a monster. He was he was this big black dude. He was like 6'3", 250 pounds, just shredded, all muscle. You could tell this dude works out, right? And his wife Jennifer was awesome. She was a pediatric, uh, she was a pediatric dentist. So we were, we got talking, and and they were showing us on the they were showing us trips that they went on, and we were showing them trips that we went on. And um, you know, I asked Greg. Me and Greg had a had a chance to to chat alone. And I asked Greg, like, how'd you get into fitness? Like, you know, what got you started? He said, well, I had this older brother, and he was a he was a badass kid. Like, he always got in trouble. So at, when he got older, he, he went into the military. And when he went into the military, he came back out when a, a, a ranger. So rangers are like no joke. So he came out and he started training Greg, his little brother, like he was trained in, in ranger camp. And... Greg was getting his butt kicked, basically, right? And he told me this crazy story. So every time they went to go bench press, his older brother would blindfold him and make him get under the bench, under the bar, and start racking out reps. And so Greg never knew how much weight he was actually putting up. He was just putting it up. And that story hit me like a ton of bricks. I think sometimes we let our outside, external distractions get the best of us and we don't realize how strong we really are. So the next time you think you can't do something, think of this story and think of how Greg was just smashing those weights because he didn't even know what he was putting up. He didn't even know how heavy he was pushing. You can do it as long as you know you can. And that, I think entrepreneurs get so caught up on. Oh, I can't do it, it's out of my wheelhouse. I can't do this, I can't do that. Now, I'm all for you staying in your lane and doing and, and, and tripling down on your strengths. But if you feel like you can't do something, think twice. Because nine times out of 10, you're stronger than you think.